I am trying to make sure. <laughs> Starting on our back. This is. So stretch and relaxation or stretch and flexibility. So here's what you do. You get bolster and you under legs. Get ready to sleep. I'm jerk. Make sure you couple up with you. Put chin low or whatever under legs. Then get each time your blank under back. Oh, do it. Hot. The blank your neck, a burrito under your neck, like this, like a roll. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So we're going to work on a little bit of breath work. All right. Put your blanket like this, like a little burrito. Everybody see it? And pretty soon I'll hear somebody snoring. I'm joking. All right, so now bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. Don't work on the breath yet. Just notice that your breath is there. Notice the rise and fall of the belly. And then we'll start by scanning the body. So wiggle your toes for a moment, bring awareness to the feet. And then relax the feet. And then go ahead and bring awareness to the area of the legs. Allow the knees to feel like they're melting down towards your bolster or the mat. Soften your thighs, your glutes and your belly. And then bring aware to your awareness to the torso, the belly, the upper back. Soften the middle back. And let that lower back melt down and towards the mat. And then relax your neck and your head and all of your facial muscles. And then relax your hands onto your chest and belly. And now we start to bring awareness to the breath. So exhale all the air out through the nose. And then start to inhale, feeling that lower belly rise. Inhale through the nose. And feel that lower belly expand. When you get to the maximum of the belly expansion, sip in just a little more air and lift your chest. And then go ahead and open your mouth and release the breath. First, feeling that chest relax and then the belly empty. 
side. Inhale through the nose, belly expands. Pause. Breathe in through the nose again. Chest expands and raises up towards the hand. Pause. Open your mouth and release the air out. Feel how everything releases out. Last one. Inhale into that lower belly. Pause. Inhale again, feeling the chest rise and expand. Pause. Open your mouth and surrender. Nice. Right, now you can blink your eyes open. You can move your fingers and your wrists. Good, and then go ahead and your legs are probably elevated off on that bolster. So go ahead and extend your knees a little bit and then roll your ankles and move your toes. Good, interlace your fingers, bring your feet together and then take your arms over the head on the inhale and over your head beyond your head as you exhale. So this time aligning your arms with your ears. Pull the right knee in, hug it in tight. And as you hug it in, start to feel how that right glute releases a little bit. Good. Bend your left leg and push that um, bolster slightly forward so it gets kind of out of your way. And then the left hand's gonna go over my left hip and I'm gonna create circles with my right hand and my right leg. Little hip circles. Mm -hmm. And then reverse the circles. The next time the knee pulls in, let your left hand grab a hold of that right knee on the inhale. Reach your right arm towards your neighbor on the right, and then exhale, twist. Make any adjustments you need to make on the mat. Maybe look towards the right hand. Good. Let's go head back to where we were. And now take that knee towards the right a little bit and slide and see if you can grab your calf with your right hand, your ankle with your right hand, or your foot. And then invite that right knee to come down further. This is like happy baby, but a half of a happy baby. Good, so from a spine release to an inner hip stretch to now crossing the right ankle over the left thigh and bringing yourself into an outer hip stretch. So my right ankle comes right over my left thigh and then I can get that right knee and move it away from me. And if this is too much to have the foot up, you can always do this with the foot down.
Mm -hmm. Take your legs just as they are and then recline them to the right. Feel that now that core stretch, maybe point your nose to the left. And then the more awareness you bring on that left, onto that left um, leg, like the more weight that you bring onto it, the more you'll feel that stretch. back to center. Extend the right leg out, bend the knee and extend it a few times. And then we'll come back to this later on to stretch deeper with that hamstring. But for now, just bend and extend it. And the next time it extends, bring the leg all the way down. Good, interlace your fingers once again, reach your arms towards the ceiling first on the inhale and then over your head as you exhale. You will have a little limit because the um, blanket is in the, on the way of the uh, shoulders, but that's okay. Good, and then go ahead and release and bring the left knee into the chest. You can roll the ankle if you want. You can wiggle the toes. And then you'll go ahead and release the right hand to the right hip. And with your left hand, create little circles on this, around this hip. And you make modifications. If your other leg needs to be bent, you can do that. We're just bringing awareness to the movement of the hip. Some of us might even hear a little clicking sound. So just be aware of that. A lot of times when we go beyond our range of motion, the body gives us that awareness and it clicks. Good. And then next time you bring it in, take the right hand to it. Take your left arm out towards your neighbor. Inhale. And then twist. Looking towards the left bringing your knee towards the right. Pretty intense core stretch, spine stretch. Good, back to center. Nice deep inhale. And then we're gonna take the knee in slightly to the left. And then we're gonna unflex the knee a little bit. Left hand grabs the calf, the ankle, or some of you can grab the foot. Same thing, remember, you can adjust the other leg so it suits you. This is a half of a happy baby. And then bring it across. Take it so that it becomes an outer hip stretch. So that worked more of the inner hip. And now this is more of the outer hip. You can bring your foot down and work it like this. Or if you feel like you want more, we can slide your hands up. Your sides are different. They have different things going on with them. So. You don't have to do the same thing to both sides. Good. 
Right and then the foot comes down. You recline those legs to the side. You can bring your arms open. You can look to the other side. And then back to center, grab the back of the leg, work on bending and extending that left leg. Mm -hmm. And then the next time it extends, release the leg down, feet flat now, knees up. Good. So grab the edges of your beach towel or blanket and move it up a little bit so that now it's actually holding your head. It's no longer down by your neck. It's up a little higher. And then you're going to inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to pull that blanket or that towel up and give yourself a good stretch through your neck. So we're going to do that two more times. Inhale, relax it back. Make any adjustments you have to make. Exhale, bring yourself up with your blanket. Press your lower back onto the floor. And then again, release it. Inhale. And then exhale, bring it up. Good. All the way down, move the blanket off to the side. And then you can swivel back and forth, like rock yourself side to side. And then if it feels good, you can rock yourself forward and back few times when you're ready coming on to hands and knees good coming on to hands right knee and sending the left leg back spread the toes and then shift forward and back a little bit with that leg The next time you shift back, slide that left leg slightly to the right. And then deepen yourself by coming off your hands onto your forearms. You can use a bolster if you want or a block or not. And then find yourself shifting back enough so that you feel that outer right hip and glute stretch. Good. Slide yourself out of that just for a moment. So we do the other side. We're going to go deeper into that side in a moment. Okay. So just left knee down, right leg back. Good. And then go ahead and slide the leg to the other side. Shift your weight back. 
come into that forearms if you want. All right, slowly come up. Okay, we're gonna get that right knee in. The left leg back just like it was. And then if it's okay, you're gonna bring the left knee behind and you're gonna see if you can bring a block with you if you need it. You can sit back on the floor or on a block and you've got these funky little legs now. If this is too much for you, then the left leg can come undone. All right, so then you're sitting with just one funky leg instead of two. But if you can do both funky legs, then let's keep them funky. Reach your arms up, inhale. <laughs> and then as you exhale, grab opposite elbows, forearms, wrists, whatever you can grab. And then keep your head back. Little force in a way of getting you to have the core strength to sit upright. So unround your shoulders, hug the belly in. It requires a lot of core um, ignition here or connection for you not to round your back. My kids always say that I always say the weirdest words. It's Spanish meeting English. <laughs> okay, so just make a note, be aware to like know what grip you had up at the top, which arm was in front, which arm was behind. And then release your arms, either by your feet or by your hips. And then you can start to walk your hands forward and hello, lower back and glutes. Remember you have bolsters and blankets and everything handy. So if you need to make the adjustments so that you can feel what you need to feel. This is primarily outer hips, lower back. Okay, upright your torso. Come back into hands and knees. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because everybody's gonna be different. Lock off to the side. And then we're gonna briefly step one leg back and then step the other leg back. Just stretch it all out. One back leg back, the other leg back. Good. And then I believe it's the left leg that opens and reaches to the back. Or was it the right? It's the right. So bring the right leg to the side. Yeah, this looks good. Okay, and now Go ahead and bring the right knee behind it. Sit back, okay, same idea, sit back. Bolster, if the block is too much, then bolster. And then let's do it again. Let's reach back up. Use your core to stay with good posture. Reach for opposite forearms or elbows. Thank you. 
release it. You're going to do the same thing as you did before, hands by your side or by the feet, or you can bring your hands behind you, grab opposite elbows, forearms or wrists, and stay upright for a few breaths, and then we'll fold forward. This is where my left shoulder is super tight every time I do this. Internal rotation of my left shoulder. It doesn't like it. Good, pull the chin in a little bit and let's bring the right ear towards the right shoulder. Good, pull the chin in and let's bring the left ear towards the left shoulder. Pull the chin in, right ear, right shoulder. Point your chin up. And then right ear to the right shoulder. Pull the chin in and then left ear, left shoulder, chin up. All right, run through that one more time if you want. Right to right and chin up. Left to left and chin up. Good, back to neutral. And now you get to walk your hands forward and see how this side feels. Okay, upright your torso, unravel your little feet, come off your block if you're on your block, and let's windshield wipe the knees side to side. We're going to move into the infamous down dog soon. So, blocks, if you want them under your hands, you can have them. If you don't need them under your hands, then just plant your little palms under your shoulders like you're doing tabletop. And then let's go ahead and shift your knees up, but keep them soft and then separate the feet as wide as your hips. And maybe bend one knee and switch and bend the other knee. Good, now level out your knees so they're both about evenly soft and start to pulse the chest. So coming forward and back a little bit, pulsing the chest. Good. Lift the heels, inhale, bring the knees down, untuck your toes, sit back on your heels. And then reach your arms all the way up as you inhale. Roll the wrists a little bit. We're going to move from down dog now to dolphin. Okay, so dolphin means same legs as down dog, but instead of being on our hands, we're gonna be on our forearms. I recommend we start with blocks under the forearms and then we'll see if we can go further than that. So just like tabletop, put the blocks under your hands like tabletop and bring yourself into a tabletop and then come off your hands onto your forearms. 
I like interlacing my hands. So I create almost like a little triangle and then I press into my forearms and come off my knees. And then my ears line up with my arms. Beautiful. Separate the feet so they're as at hip width or maybe even wider. Keep your knees a little bit soft. This is a phenomenal little shoulder stretch and strengthener, believe it or not. So take note as to what feels okay and what feels uncomfortable. Most of us are tied in the hamstring, so that might be what's uncomfortable. In that case, soften your knees a little bit to take a little bit of pressure off the hamstrings. Lift and lower the heels a little bit. That brings the awareness away from the discomfort of the hamstrings too. Good, and then take your next inhale. And as you exhale, look towards your blocks. Bring your right knee towards the right block and your left knee towards the left block. And then you're gonna sit, moving into pyramid. So big toes together, knees apart. You can slide a block in between your feet or as we have our bolsters, you can slide your bolster in between your feet. Now the full, the bolster is wide. So if you get any discomfort in the knee, take the bolster out of the way and use the block. So you could do this. If, if the bolster is creating pressure in the knees, you could just have less pressure and bring it to the, to the, um, to a block. Now from here, I'm still gonna keep my, my bolster where it is. So I'm gonna start to lean back and walk my hands back, open my chest. Press all 10 toenail beds down and stay here. And then if I have more space after a little bit of time, Maybe instead of sitting on a block, I can sit in between my feet and then I can lean back onto my bolster. Right, so lots of options, sitting upright, sitting upright. <laughs> Did you? Is everything okay? Does anything hurt? Huh? Oh my God, how did you do that? I'm gonna have to play back the video and see what happened there. All right, so we, we did this a couple of times already. So it might feel okay for you to do it, it might not. You can take your arms, relax them, or you can reach for opposite elbows. It makes it a lot more intense because it is stretching the sides of your body. So it actually um, makes the pose a little bit more um, intense. It progresses the whole thing. I wonder if this would feel good for you. I don't know if it would. You're gonna let me know. Good? Not so much. How about how about this guy in underneath your knees? Take this guy. Oh, you had your little things on there. They were hiding. Okay, see how that feels. And then sit. On oh, this guy. Better? Oh, good. Good. So then lean back so we can open the hips. Good. 
good. So this is stretching the front of the quad, the belly, the torso, slowly come out of it. And most of you already there are there. If you're in, in um, if, if you're in that little diamond pose, like Dale and Jan, you can stay there. Okay. So we're going to go from that pretty intense saddle pose to that little diamond pose. So now soles of the feet together, knees apart, recline back onto your bolster, your pillow, your blocks. Open the arms just like you did before. Reach for opposite elbows if you want again. Stretching front body. Slowly, when you come out of this pose, you're going to roll or rotate slightly to the right, and then you're going to get your bolster um, perpendicular to your torso. So in other words, long wise sideways. And then you're going to rest your ribs on your pillow or bolster. And then you're going to relax your head down. If it feels uncomfortable on your neck to relax your head down, you probably have a towel, a blanket, or a block that you can put under your head. But then the idea is that the left arm will come over your left ear and you'll kind of hold on to that left hand or wrist with your bottom hand. Right, so left ear aligned with the left arm. Now my legs are kind of stacked, but now I'm gonna de-stack them or unstack them. My front leg is going to open back. So it's gonna, my hip is gonna extend back and my front knee will stay forward. So my right hip will flex forward. Okay. Stay stacking your left hip over your right hip though. Try not to, spin your chest or your hips to the ceiling, okay? Stay sideways, in other words. Little side stretch. You're doing great. Good. So 
we're gonna sit up before we do the other side, okay? Because that's a pretty intense stretch just because we rarely stretch our intercostal muscles, which are the muscles that wrap around the ribs. So um, go ahead and windshield wipe the knees a little bit and then we'll do the other side. Good, so then we go ahead and we do go to the other side, drape those little ribs over the block or the bolster, I'm sorry. Rest yourself onto your side and then get that maximum stretch out of the top by bringing your right arm over your ear. And then from stacked hip, we de-stack them or unstack them by taking the back leg or the top leg back and the front, bottom leg forward a little bit. Hmm. I thought that was part of the song. What was I? I heard, I heard the lady singing, and then I heard that. I was like, was that the song? <laughs> <laughs> few more breaths here. We've opened front body, we've opened side body, we've opened a little bit of the back body. Now we're gonna to get to open a little bit more of the back body. So come up and then keep your blanket close because when we go to Shavasana, we're gonna put the burrito blanket under our neck again. So keep it handy. But now lie on your back and go ahead and keep, bring a strap close to you because we're going to use it and let's put the bolster under the bun under the bum oh yes so the bolster goes kind of where the sacrum is legs up the wall oh my head is hanging off the back <laughs> Wonderful inversion, letting all that blood come down towards our vital organs, taking your arms up as well. Keep your gaze kind of soft so it don't you don't close your eyes, keep them open but barely open and just gaze beyond the tip of your toes. Bring some nice mental imaging and so maybe just visualizing all of that warmth and all of that blood coming down towards your vital organs from your tippy toes and your feet and your legs and your fingertips and your arms. So healthy for you. This is the opposite of what we do all day. You imagine if we walked around with our feet up just on our back, we just rolled on a skateboard everywhere. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Either that or if we were walking on our feet with our arms up towards the sky. <laughs> can you imagine that? Maybe we can start that. That could be quite, quite the TikTok. <laughs> just walk around town with the arms up. <laughs> Janet Yoga might become a sensation. Who is that Janet Yoga girl? She's got everybody right here. Uh, 
Oh, goodness, it's going good to laugh. Okay, so now take your wide, your legs wide, yeah. And leg gravity, and then you be careful with the stretching. You're gonna have to be careful with the, uh, the strappy stretching. Yeah, so just see. <laughs> You're still thinking about us walking around town. <laughs> Scott, will you join us as we walk around with the arms up in the air? <laughs> what was the name of that of that show that the, the 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 people would walk with the weird legs from the old days? I remember the old days. <laughs> it was like no, there's the show. <laughs> the movement of the. Something with the long legs. I don't know what it was called. <laughs> oh my God, I think we need to do the arms. Let's do the arms. <laughs> oh. All right, bring the legs up. Keep the right leg up and let's put that little strap around the arch of the right foot. See how that feels. Don't overstretch it. You're just gonna see how that feels. And then the purpose of the strap is so that you can have something to connect to so that you feel that good um, alignment, right? So your arms or your hands grab the strap. They go over your head so that you align your ears with your arms. And then you can bring your left foot down and you have that little bolster there. So you probably can't fully extend the leg, but you do what you can. If you start extending the left leg, you might feel a pretty interesting stretch because it is different since we're elevated off the floor. A lot of times we do this when we're flat to the floor. She's still laughing at <laughs> I think we need to do something like that. Hey, there's something called laughter yoga. Okay, so we're going to take the right hand and encourage that right leg to the right. Try to keep your left glute as rounded on that bolster or pillow or floor as the right. And then bring it back in and now watch. Left foot flat. Slide your glutes a little bit to the right. If you have this big wide bolster like we have, we'll be okay to take the leg now in the opposite direction. Because we have the wide bolster. If you don't have the wide bolster, you might have to come off the bolster. I gotta get rid of it. We do have laughing yoga. A little tickle here and there. <laughs> you just show up and you contribute. <laughs> Happy Dale. Come back to center and heal. Did you bring your guitar today? All right. You're going to bring it so you can sing to us again. Okay. Release the leg. And let's do the other side. Okay. So. 
Take the leg up, stretch it all out. Stay like that as long as you'd like. When you're ready, you can open the leg to the left. When you're ready, switch and see the other side. Switch your super on the ball to if you want to. The idea when you is to try to keep on the mat so then it becomes a pretty Same thing in the left knee actually also gives you that great little stretch to that little OT band area. Bring it back home when you're ready. Hugging the knees in, sliding then the bolster, just like when we started class. So slide the bolster under your knees and grab your blanket and put it under your neck. Now come around with a little lavender hands. to scan your body. So go ahead and notice your feet, just like when we started in class. Relax your toes, the arches of the feet, the ankles. The knees, the thighs, the hips. Relax the lower left belly at the back, the chest.
And then it's from here that we bring our palms together, thumbs towards the heart. And we set an intention, possibly for today, maybe even for the whole week. So think about one positive quality you want to add to your day today or this week. And then attach the words, I am in front of that. And then as we take our next inhale, we say that phrase in our mind. Inhale. And then go ahead and open your mouth. And as you exhale, let go of anything that no longer serves you. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Huh? I do want to 